Welcome to a new episode of Why Doesn't My Crap Work? Oh boy, uh, this thing's fun. Um, but that all kind of depends on what your definition of the word fun is. Um, here is the bridge pin that was in this guitar when uh, uh, it walked into the shop here. Let's see. This is a replacement bridge pin. You may notice there is a discrepancy in the length. Now, I don't really know how well this guitar functioned um, uh, when it was acquired from the previous owners. Um, but here's what I can tell you. Um, this, hey, it makes a noise. That's cool, right? problem is, if I attempt to replicate the length of the pin um, that was in the guitar, we run into a problem. And that problem is that when I insert the uh, bridge pin it doesn't go all the way into the body. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, just because this is super cool fun. And why the crap do I have six messages on my phone? Well, um, yeah. All right, we'll go here. We'll go here. We will go here and, all right, we're going in. Now, do you see that? Let's see if I can get my, all right. That is the bottom part of the bridge. That pin should actually be sticking through uh, down past the end of that bridge. Um, because what we want to happen is we want this string to sit like that. Or to even bottom up on the bottom of the the bridge plate. What we don't want is the uh, the ball end to actually be inside this channel, um, because what will happen is your bridge pins will pop out. Um, so what we've got to do is I've got to taper uh, this um, bridge pin to the point where it will slip all the way down in there, which it doesn't at the moment, um, so that we can get the ball end all the way through that channel onto the bottom part of the bridge plate um, and then secure it in there. So uh, the next task at hand is to uh, uh, adjust these uh, craft these so that they will fit all the way down in there and I've actually got a, I've got a tapered ream or two that I'm gonna put down in here and just ever so lightly clean this up because it looks like there's bit, maybe been some kind of glue down in there or something um, and so we'll do that uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see what's going on hey here's something uh, a little interesting if I take my big gargantuan hand Put it down in here to get even with the bottom of the bridge pin. Yeah, we need every inch of that. Um, 
So this is just going to have to be tapered. Uh, I can't shorten it any because uh, then that's not going to work out. So yeah, hey, that's fun. All right, well, that's what we do. Uh, here's where we're at. <clears throat> what I have done, uh, I know that somewhere there is a big fancy tool to do this, um, which I neither have the patience uh, nor probably the money right now um, uh, to acquire. So I've made my own little uh, tool, as it were. Um, I have just taken a just a piece off of a plain old 2x4 uh, and I found the biggest drill bit size I could get to go through the bottom part of uh, my bridge piece which is a, a quarter inch drill bit so I drilled a straight quarter inch hole through here I then took my tapered reamer and ran that through um, to the point where the old um, the old bridge pin um, would fit in there pretty loosely. Uh, I then took some of this pretty wonderful kind of sticky backed uh, sandpaper, um, coiled it around my tapered reamer, and inserted it down into the hole here, as you can see. So what I've effectively done is I've created a tapered sanding hole. Um, I then take uh, one of the stock bridge pins and I start out there and then it ends up way down in the bottom. Um, it, not really fast going. Um, but uh, when you reach a certain point uh, it will slip down into the, uh, uh, into the bridge and it actually extends uh, past the bridge so that when I put my string in, the ball end fits through there and it snugs up against, not actually in the hole, but actually outside underneath the hole. So now um, we have a string that uh, doesn't throw bridge pins all over the place. So there's uh, one down, um, four to go. Um, because if you've got one of these, I'm giving you a spare. Because um, that's just the way I roll. Um, so exciting, spinning, twisting stuff uh, coming up. Excitement. On a measure not even 
I mean, yeah. Hey, look. Two strings. Halfway there. I can feel tendonitis in my elbow. Bad juju. Every once in a while, I'll have to uh, clean my tapered hole out. <laughs> Shh. And then uh, every once in a while, I'll take the reamer, just really super light. Clean it out, and then, hey, back for more. Go do something. Hey, uh, here we are. We're back uh, with the Martin um, uh, acoustic fretless bass. Still working on trying to trace the pedigree down on this. Um, I don't have a lot of definitive answers and I don't like that. Uh, I like knowing, uh, I kind of like knowing, knowing about the turd I'm trying to polish. Um, this is kind of cool, um, but I still want to, I, I want to know more about this, so the hunt is on. Uh, okay, here's what's happened. Look here. Ooh, bridge pins. Um, install, they hold well. Uh, stuff doesn't go flying all over the place. I've let it sit overnight um, just because I wanted the guitar to um, get used to having strings on it again. It had strings off of it for a week. Um, eh, everything seems to kind of um, kind of be okay. It's got that weird kind of funky. funky kind of fretless bass sound to it. Um, I didn't, all I did was taper the pins. I didn't shorten the pins at all. Um, I didn't like the shine that they had on them. I didn't like the mold lines that they had on them. They're just plastic, like plastic models. Um, so I chucked them in my drill, literally chucked them up into the drill. Uh, 220 sandpaper, got all of the, the mold lines off of them. Uh, got the shine uh, off of them that they had and then went back and polished it with 4,000 grit polishing papers um, and uh, 3M's Finesse It on a terry cloth, uh, terry cloth rag. Um, it has a little bit of shine to it. It looks a lot more like bone now than it does uh, plastic, um, which is kind of what I wanted. So it works, it functions. Not a lot of projection. But that might be because it has this gaping P bass pickup hole in the middle of the soundboard. Um, so it will function as an acoustic guitar, not exceedingly well. Um, my suggestion to um, the owner, um, get some flats, uh, some flat wound strings for it, um, and probably uh, have the neck um, worked on. Uh, there are grooves up here from where the, the round wound strings have been on it. Um, we'll just take a radiusing block after it, um, polish that, polish the, the, the fingerboard until uh, that stuff disappears. Um, so that's the recommendation acoustically. I'm not going to mess with the bridge um, at all. It seems to be okay. Um, I 
and this is where the this is where the last dot is. You get a little funny up about here. And there's a mark on the neck. I don't know. Maybe that's why and it's not even a mark, it's like somebody gouged something in it in there. But maybe that's it. Maybe that's the the line of don't play past here. Um so back to here. I can't do anything about this hole. Um, there's just not that kind of magic in the shop. Um, so I'm going to look at uh, taking the pickup that was in it and seeing what kind of wiring options uh, I can offer the guy. Um, my suggestion would be to take this strap pin out because I already have a hole right here. Replace this with a, with an end jack so that you can plug in here. Utilize this hole as a volume knob because um, you want to have a volume knob. I don't like the idea of just plugging straight in. I, I don't like that at all. We'll see, maybe we can find a push-pull pot with a tone volume on it. Uh, we'll see what those options are um, because this is just never going to go away. So that's where we're at. Um, other than that, I'll glue the nut in, the, the nuts, uh, free right now. Um, and then the, uh, the machine heads, um, uh, when these strings come off, I'll take these off. We'll get them polished up for them so it looks uh, super nice and cool. Um, but that's where we're at. Uh, so the next thing you're going to see is going to be some form of wiring, which is always a uh, hoot. So tune back in for that. Cheers. So I was, um, just going to talk about something, kind of like garbage trucks here. Much earlier than you normally get to. Sorry. Right.